Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we have another unboxing for you. This is Silverstone's NT06 Pro CPU cooler. Now this is an air cooler, it's a 120mm low profile cooler. It stands at 82mm in height and it's not brand new. Uh, but the reason we're doing it is because if you have watched our videos recently, uh, if you are a subscriber, if you're not, please do subscribe. Uh, we did do an unboxing and a video review on Silverstone's ML07 case, which is from their Milo series. Uh, and this is a case that's taken the interior design from uh, their recently released uh, F sorry, RVZ01 case, which is their new Mini ITX Raven series gaming case. Uh, and that has a maximum CPU cooler height of 83mm. Now this is an 82mm high cooler, so they're designed to work together coming from uh, the same company so they've, they've made these two uh, products so that they work well together so for example if you do have um, maybe a mini ITX motherboard which has the CPU socket in the right location coupled with this uh, you will get perfect air cooling in that case which is why we're unboxing this and is why we're going to be keeping it for a potential bullet near the end of the year with a case that they're going to be releasing around that time. So let's go in and take a look at the NT06 Pro and see what comes in the box and see what it actually looks like because um, it's very similar to some competitor uh, CPU low profile air coolers but it is very different in some of its features and some of its um, capabilities. So let's go in and take a look at what comes in the box with the NT06 Pro. Okay, so we've got you up at a, a really high angle there, it's almost bird's eye view. Um, but yeah, so let's go uh, around the box first. There's not really much uh, to see, so we might not be here long. Uh, there is basically just a description of the product. I'll, I'll bring that in so that if you do want to pause it and read it, you can. Uh, it basically just says superior silence performance. Uh, and then gives you a couple of features. So for example, it is a six heat pipe cooler, which is um, a lot for a low profile CPU cooler. You've also got the uh, nitrogen series branding there. It is, uh, the seal has been broken. Uh, I did do that earlier. And it, you've got your specifications there, which I'll also bring in. So if you want to read them as well, you can. Just pause the video, you can do that. I'm not gonna read them all for you. It will all be on the written review that we will be doing. Uh, we may also do a video review depending on how uh, this video turns out. So let's go and take a look at what comes in the box. I'll try and keep, you okay, I think this should just, yeah. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. And it's, I'll try and keep you with the best angles possible. So we've got the manual here. That is uh, basically for the nitrogen and I don't know how to pronounce that series. I haven't ever covered a product in that series. I may do in the future. Uh, who knows, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so if you want to leave a comment in the comment section telling me how to, that would be greatly appreciated. So we've got uh, good foam packaging, the nice kind that doesn't break and it's, um, that is because I did do an unboxing on it um, and it didn't turn out very well so I'm redoing it so there we'll just take that out put it to one side that packaging that you saw earlier that plastic wrap that goes on the CPU cooler itself before it's packed in the foam so I should probably pause it now and actually redo it but we're not going to do that. So let's tip the accessories out before we go on to the CPU cooler. You will notice I left the, the nice cover on there. So what do we have? Uh, I'll just get that all the way out of the frame if I can. And we have a back plate. This is a universal back plate for both Intel and AMD. We've got that. In fact, I'll leave that in the frame. That should actually stay in the frame. We have four 120mm fan clips, that's because you can fit two 120mm fans on this low profile cooler. So it's it's not just a low profile cooler, it is actually a high performance uh, cooler at the same time. It's got a little bit more compatibility than a couple of other uh, coolers on the market at the moment that do a similar job. 
uh, we will see and we will discuss in the written review whether that has limitations um, compared to the other designs that it may be going up against or whether it has some benefits so uh, we have some more uh, mounting brackets there and some more screws some thermal paste um, some of their anti-vibration rubber mounts which you can stick onto your fans before you mount it onto here there's no anti-vibration um, kind of bars or anything on the actual cooler you get them to add onto your fans if your fans don't come with them already and you get a set of small screws there which uh, we will discuss in the written review so let's move on to the cooler so we've got the cooler here uh, I'll just take that side off I'll take this side off and uh, this is actually not actually attached to the cooler. So we've got the cooler there, and it, it does come. I'll try and I'll try not to break it. Uh, it does come with a single fan, which uh, I'm not too sure on the model. I don't know if it's a specific model uh, that they actually sell retail or whether it's just an OEM product. Uh, but that is that you may have seen on the. Um, specifications what this is actually capable of but uh, if you do want to check out the written review and all the specifications for this product will be right at the start of the review for you to check out you can just open that the link will be down below for that um, when it's published uh, and if you want you can just open that uh, and put it in a separate window or separate tab uh, to the side for references you're watching this video so uh, we've got your black fan here, 120 millimeter. Uh, it's got a, a slave, a sl slaved, a sleeved braid uh, there, and it's a four-pin PWM header. So we've got that fan there, uh, and we have the NTO6 Pro. So I'm going to give you a different angle, and we're going to have a little bit of a look more uh, closely at the NTO6 Pro. So I've changed direction, I'm just down by the side of you here, so you can see the NTO6 Pro here. Uh, you will notice there is sections straight away that have been cut out of the, uh, the uh, heat fin array. Um, we will actually discuss how much of a percentage has been cut out of the, the whole entire fin stack. Uh, things like that in the review, so you will get to check them out. This, I believe, will be because you need to get a screwdriver in for mounting it. Um, as uh, if you can notice below, that is right uh, above where the actual CPU block is. Uh, so we've got that. We also have, uh, basically, if I just go and grab the... Um, fan here, I'll go and grab the fan for you, the fan is essentially exactly the same size wise as the uh, entire cooler so it's uh, obviously you've already seen the dimensions but it's not that much bigger in every direction than a 120mm fan, it actually very closely resembles a 140mm fan so you might actually uh, be better off and might, it might actually be a good idea to replace that with a 140mm fan if possible and then you maybe will have to go with a 120mm underneath but if you are happy with doing uh, two different types of fans then that may actually uh, perform better for you so let's have a look at a little bit more um, around the product. So we've got six heat pipes, they're all standard, uh, I believe it's six millimeter heat pipes. Uh, there we have a barcode here, uh, which you will be able to just peel off if you want. You've also got uh, the Silverstone logo pressed in there. Now moving around, here is where the um, heat pipes come out. They come out and curve around. This is because you can put a 120 millimeter fan underneath as I've already said. Uh, so it's it's about high enough uh, for a 120mm fan to go underneath and then to still uh, really uh, be tall enough to uh, go higher than um, you know the surrounding uh, CPU socket. So we've got that, we also have, if you can see underneath there, uh, your um, CPU block which is a kind of a brushed design, it's not a, a mirror finish. 
Uh, so we've got that, I'm going to keep that on so I don't damage it for uh, the review, so I don't get any uh, sticky fingers on it. Uh, there's not much else to really say. You can't really uh, talk much about the aesthetics of a essentially piece of metal. So that is the unboxing of the NT06 Pro. We will be producing a written review on the product and potentially a video review as I've already said. Uh, if you do like the product, if you are interested in seeing how well it performs, uh, check out the link in the description box below to the written review, which will be there when it's published. If it's not, it won't be published yet, so uh, you can also go over to the Altec TV website, bookmark it and constantly check back uh, every single day uh, and until the review is up. So that is the NT06 Pro. Uh, that was our unboxing and first look on the product. Uh, I'm Hal Thompson, you've been watching another Hal Tech TV video, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, let us know what you think of the product in the comment section below, and goodbye. <laughs>